How does smell get from the nose to the brain? Odorous substances in the air are processed through the following steps. 1. Odor sensing in the nose. 2. Neurotransmission of the odor information, or olfactory information, to the olfactory bulb. 3. Olfactory information processing in the brain. 1. Odor sensing in the nose. Odor sensing in the nose is performed by receptors of the olfactory sensory neurons in the nose. 2. Neurotransmission of the odor information. The olfactory sensory neurons in the nose transmit the odor information to the olfactory nerves through a process known as neurotransmission. The olfactory nerves transmit the olfactory information to the olfactory bulb, a neural structure responsible of olfaction or smell. This olfactory information is chemically identified and coded by a part of the olfactory bulb known as the glomeruli. This process is known as the odor map. 3. Olfactory information processing in the brain. The olfactory bulb transmits the olfactory information to specific areas of the brain for processing and identification of the smell. There are several and important parts of the brain that are responsible for smell. 1. The amygdala. Although the, the amygdala is the central hub for the management of fear, it is also involved in the processing of odor information in the brain. When the amygdala receives the olfactory information for processing, it interrogates the memory siege, the hippocampus, for previous similar stimuli, example olfactory stimuli. Once the information is received from the hippocampus, the amygdala triggers the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis to initiate an adaptive reaction. Depending on the nature of the smell which can be pleasant or unpleasant, associated or not with potential danger, a reaction such as robust approach, pleasant olfaction, or withdrawal if unpleasant or linked with potential danger, such as the smell of smoke due to fire. 2. The Olfactory Tubercle The olfactory tubercle is part of the olfactory cortex found in the frontal lobe of the brain where it is connected to the amygdala and the hippocampus. It is involved in recognizing one's body odor from the environment odors, known as sensory integration, motivated behaviors in response to odor, such as attractiveness or repulsion, and reward recognition. 3. Piriform cortex. The piriform cortex is part of the brain known as the renencephalon located in the cerebrum. It is involved in odor perception and its differentiation from other odors and from a mixture of odors and in odor memory. 4. The Entorhinal Cortex The entorhinal cortex is part of the cerebral cortex where it plays a role as an interface between the hippocampus that is involved in memory and the neocortex involved in sensory perception, such as olfaction, and in spatial reasoning, navigation, and cognition. But how can smells trigger emotions? In addition to the amygdala and the hippocampus, which assess the nature of the smell which can be pleasant or unpleasant, other structures of the brain are involved in triggering emotions in response to a particular smell. The orbitofrontal cortex is involved in the reward value of taste but also in the reward value of odors which initiate an emotion. The insula is a part of the cerebral cortex involved in emotion and in the processing of unpleasant odors. The cingulate cortex is also part of the cerebral cortex that is involved in the formation and processing of emotions related to pleasant and unpleasant odors. Does smell affect memory? Olfaction requires the involvement of the hippocampus, the brain part that controls memory. The amygdala processing of the olfactory information involves interrogating the hippocampus about previous experiences with the olfactory information. When a smell triggers a memory, this effect is known as the Proustian effect, based on the name of the novelist Marcel Proust. A smell can also trigger anger if that smell was associated with a past situation that caused you anger. What causes loss of smell? The loss of smell can be complete and is known as anosmia or diminished and is known as hyposmia. These alterations in olfaction are due to physical or mental health disorders, viral infections, inflammation, environmental exposure, or aging. In conclusion, olfaction is a complex process that involves the transmission of the smell by specialized sensory neurons in the nose, the olfactory nerves, and the olfactory bulb, and its processing by several regions of the brain. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share for more videos like this.